Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another live stream here from the Car Truck Studio. Germany! Yes, we are not alone. Philo is back. Yes. Last week he was missing, missing in action, more missing. or less. Yeah, we have a, a nice theater show. Yes, and today we have a special guest. It's uh, Baby Shark, how Philo would say. <laughs> Actually, his name is uh, Michael. Uh, he's from a nearby. Uh, he's creating great flap cards and soon you will find out what flap cards are, what they can do for your magic and uh, how to improve your magic using flap cards. So stay tuned. But before we start, don't forget ring the bell yes <laughs> and then subscribe us so don't miss the live streams and we want to grow with you together and yeah we we close to the 20 people here in the in the english stream so thank you for yeah for spending time with us and every week we are back again yes and so far um the next goal that we have is 5,000 subscribers we reached 3,000 subscribers uh, subscribers recently and celebrated it with a great uh, drawing of prices, uh, including um, shopping vouchers for our online store and uh, and a signed uncut sheet of a Phoenix deck. The next hurdle will be 5,000 and this will be a very big celebration for us um, because we will give away a Rex Ignis. Yeah. That will be awesome. Amazing. Oh, you were you were there in the live stream and listened to it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rainer but, said, yes. but I have to stop because the show was starting soon yeah. and the people in the theater, they can't understand why I come too late. Yeah. <laughs> and being in front of the audience, watching his phone yeah. and seeing his stream. Yeah, it was so interesting. Certainly, certainly not. Well, today um, 
Uh, so please uh, ring the bell uh, and and be part of the uh, of uh, the YouTube followers so that we can bring you interesting contact uh, context every week. And today uh, we would love to get your input as well. And that's very easy to do. All you have to do is you go to uh, carchark.de. Let's see if this will come up. Uh, no, Cream. that's oh. Now I know which button to press to get another subscribe. I pressed <laughs> the wrong one. Okay. Cool. Okay. Here's the one. Yes. Can yes, you push? Yes, can you do it again? The, the ring the bell. No, no. I, I want to show this one here. So uh, if you go to cardshark.de/live, uh, being on an English uh, computer, then you go directly to um, the Slido website where you can ask uh, questions, etc. That will then be visible. If you have a German browser and you will not get to the English version, all you have to do is uh, go to slido.com and enter the room 708888 and um, there you can uh, join the others to ask questions. These questions you can like uh, from others. So the more likes a question get, the, the higher it rises so that we can answer these uh, um, in the order of requests. And that's a lot easier than following us in a YouTube live chat because there we have to pay attention all the time. However, today we are free, so we can do this. I get the phone later because you have to work a little more than me today. Yeah, you yeah, both. no yes, problem. Yes, yes, I love it. Yes, and there's already one question asked. What is the best application of flap cards in a routine you have seen? Well, you will see several routines today, um, several effects that you can do. and Only ideas and uh, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, that's the interesting part. Once, once your your uh, creative juices are flowing, you can come up with your own ideas, and yeah. um, and then and any any flap you want to build yourself or uh, order from us whatsoever. Yeah. So we will help but you to get started. But we are very happy to have Michael here and have some yeah have find him and he work with us very close to create some new stuff and yeah some. Some special things when you have some ideas or you want some special flap cards or some special cards, then he is the one who can do everything. <laughs> can I announce something before we start with that? And you, you don't even know about this uh, that I prepared this. Uh, meanwhile, we you were can do whatever you uh, want. It's setting, your company. <laughs> setting up the next one. Well, the, this one will be two parts outside. If you are watching this and you are watching it live or in the next few days. There is a, um, um, a conference coming up, a magic conference, completely free of charge, all online. All you have to do is you go to unitedmagiciansfortheworld.com. No, it's in, yeah. Isn't it cool? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And it's from the 22nd to the 25th of October. So in the next few days, we are starting. It's a four-day event. Um, great lecturers. Um, they want to do 100 hours of lectures. Everything is free of charge. You can certainly uh, uh, leave a little bit of money for a donation if you like. And there are special special offers in the. In there the are room. gifts there as well, yeah. uh, um, free free gifts and and I mean the the it's a who is who in magic, including Danny Dortis, including Max Maven and uh, Christian Engblom and. And Christian Schenk also. Yes, I am on on uh, mm. Saturday. Uh, I think at ten or eleven yeah. in nervous? the morning. Uh, no, uh, I just have to get my <laughs> lecture, my real physical lecture online so that I can uh, use some of the of the presentations that I'm using usually. Um, and I would love to show you how playing cards are made. It's a very special lecture. Richard is writing your time <laughs> from 10 to 11 a.m. Oh, that's so nice of him. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so that's my time. Unfortunately, I have to get up in the morning pretty early then. <laughs> that's my weekend going. No, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. And the problem is on Friday night we play snooker together. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know this one. I, I remember the Wednesday, but that's another topic yeah. uh, for the, for uh, the new great one. dinner. Okay, good to Surprising. know. Surprising. And here's the second one. This message came in from my friend Luis de Matos. Luis de Matos, Essential Magic. Uh, he's the one who produces these beautiful DVD collections of all big names in magic. Wow, yeah. And and he uh, just oh, sent yeah. just just sent an email. Yeah, it's really yeah. And, and it's his, uh, it's um, uh, a project very close to his heart because he wanted to conserve the best magic in the world possible 
for the future generations. That's why he, and it all started, he told me this, uh, when, when Tommy Wonder passed away too early. And um, from Tommy, there is not so much really high quality material left. Yeah. And therefore, uh, he really, it's, it's, uh, it's something that is very important to him to uh, present the biggest names in magic in, 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 their, in their peak. All so, the collections are so cool. Also for Uncle Gea, the this collection, yeah, these four DVDs. Yes, wow. and 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 uh, um, yes. Um, what's yeah. the British uh, guy who passed away recently? I just wanted to say the name. Yeah. Uh, Paul Paul Daniels. Paul Daniels. Yeah. Yes, and and uh, the, the collection of Danny. I think there are. Danny Dalatis. Yes. I think more than eight DVDs and uh, so every time for but why am i saying this well, there's a super great on offer right now if you go to essentialmagiccollection.com maybe even slash albums and you can use the code covid you get a 50 percent off on any album and even get it free of charge shipping worldwide wow that's awesome uh, when i saw this offer i was really really um, we all, surprised we everything <laughs> <laughs> not not really but i would love to uh, um, yeah to, to support to, it yes absolutely it's it's such a great offer and yeah, and what he is, is filming there in his studio 33 you would you sh you should have been there uh, but and, hopefully and, and soon we will be able to do the, it again. the quality of each DVD is amazing. The chapters, everything is so beautiful. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, well, he's Louis Dimatos. So yeah, uh, he has a he has a TV production company, um, and the whole studio is a big building where he can really yeah. set up everything. Oh, the recent one was with Topaz with Big Illusions. Wow, yeah, that was. This, oof, this every, DVD every, is, every collection is awesome. In this DVD, Topaz explained every illusion. Yeah, it's, yeah. So wow. This is something uh, really wonderful to see. But anyhow, I guess that you already know uh, what Luis de Matos is, is offering here. Uh, and now with this offer, now you're well informed. If you don't uh, get at least one of uh, DVD to learn and study, it's your fault. Up, Thank you, Luis. You. Yes, awesome. And now we are back here with the flap cards. Yeah, with the flap cards. So yes. we start with the... It's not only about flap cards. Uh, he has also some cool ideas. And you will you will learn a lot today, I think. Shall we do the open? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah, the yeah. opening yeah, trick. Can you can you show us the opening oh, uh, effect? Of course. Um, uh, where is? <laughs> oh, there is. Uh, I need a deck of cards. Is someone? There is no deck of cards. Yeah. yeah you can. You can. I put, thought you, you prepared can. everything. Maybe I. You can. <laughs> Was it so well prepared oh. that you can't find it? Uh, yeah, yeah it was this one here, right? Yeah, yeah. I need, uh, I need, I need to. Sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't okay. Yeah, it's very so important to prepare everything <laughs> like <laughs> that. <laughs> we already have one stream behind us in German language, now it's the English one, yes. So, um, first of all, I want to tell you some important facts you need uh, to know about card magic. So, first of all, uh, when you perform a trick, you don't need the box, so we can just. Vanish it, yeah. And of course, we don't need the jokers and the ad cards. So well, there's just only one, but we can put it away. And uh, yeah, you can start. Now we are clean. Now we go on the top camera. Yeah, and explain what what we just saw and here. Yeah, so easier, easier than we, you might think. Maybe you can show it again in the top camera. Of course. Yeah, we are already there in the top. So yes. shall we take it with us? And I From will the go. top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it will look like this. So. We take the box and yeah, pretend there pulling gone. it out, yeah. But in the end, there's just one prepared card, and that's you, the yes, gimmick. of course. Uh, it's just this one card uh, which allows us to perform uh, this miracle. Yeah, so we just need to put the card on top of the deck, and now we need to set this up like this. So our thumb is covering this side. And, and certainly you want to flash the yeah, front as well with the flap and everything. Yeah, so um, now uh, we just need to open our box and uh, now we are pretending to uh, push, uh, pull the cards out of the box and there vanish no the box. But actually, yeah, there is no box. It's, it's and cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we are yeah, just, just watching it on the, on the screen and yeah. it really looks great. And yeah. we're just uh, turning around uh, the deck and that's the moment when the box vanishes.
Yeah. And it's so easy to prepare this. Uh, there so is no skill required, no, so you no. can really. So I can do this, of course. <laughs> so what you should get is an empty card case. Either you have one left uh, from an old the deck, box. where you can cut out the outer, uh, the the the, yeah. the uh, front side. It's so cool of a card case. When you apply, uh, when you when you glue it to a back, um, we recommend to use a 3M spray glue. Yeah. Um, you can also use a, a, a glue stick if you like, but uh, with the spray glue it's more even. Um, we use um, two types of glue, uh, both from 3M, Scotch 3M. One is called the 3M Remount or Creative Mount. Uh, you can ident identify it with a green cap, and that's important to know. That's a non-permanent glue that will always uh, stay non-permanent and will never dry out, will never get hardened. So that's a, a, a super um, spray that we are using when we have to remove the connection. The other one is the, um, I think it's the spray mount, the 3M spray mount. It has a red cap or a red uh, bottle and this one dries and then is permanent and it's really, really good. You don't need the blue one, you don't need the purple one, the red and the green are the ones you should go for. Go for it. Yes. And yeah, what you have to do, Michael, um, it, it's very simple. You prepared yeah. this uh, on the flight here because the other one yeah. was broken. So uh, you just you just need to uh, cut out this part of a box. By the way, um, you can buy these empty boxes uh, in our website. Yes. Well, yeah. certainly, if, if you take the outer part of, uh, of, a, of a card case, uh, it would be wider and longer than a normal playing card, certainly. Of course. Yeah. Of course. So what you should do is you take out really where the seams are to cut this out, what is uh, bigger than the playing card itself. Yeah. Then uh, glue the card onto the back and, and uh, so that, that it will yep. stick out there a little bit. Certainly you will not glue to the top so that you yep. can still open the flap where you have the crease to for bend the, yeah. it backwards. For the convincing. Yes. Because you really, really want to uh, create the illusion that, that uh, you are opening a deck of cards and there is a deck, deck inside, there, yes, which you can pull out then. No. Yes. And uh, what I mean is, what I mean is, once you have uh, glued it on, yeah. you would see uh, some card box uh, extending the sides here on the left and right, and then you just take scissors and cut along here yeah. where you have the guideline of the playing card itself to cut it down to the size of a playing card. Very, yeah. very, very simple. And uh, we, we we speak uh, after the first stream about it. Uh, don't use the joker, maybe uh, indicator card like the... Um, what is the card? That's yeah. a cutter number or yeah. The, yeah. Uh, the poker bingo card. Because then you can go to the deck and put out the jokers on a different place and in the end out the these... Uh, the advertising, advertising card or whatsoever, yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. what it's called. So. And just remove it and toss it and you are clean and you're ready yeah. to perform. So Sure. Ah. Well, the, ah, the, it has to have a red back. Yeah. The poker bingo doesn't have a red yeah, back but here. But the blank, the blanco, the blank card from the standard decks. Yeah, but then it's blank. Well, well we maybe are. you can tell that it's a mismade card, or a just do it. Yeah, play yeah, around with it. It's not the <laughs> only deck available. You can do it with Phoenix, with other brands you, that you shouldn't use. You know which I'm talking about. Tally Ho, Studs, and the other one. <laughs> and so. the other one. <laughs> Cool thing. I don't know what, what we are it. talking. I, I think we, we, we are a little bit branded here or... <laughs> That's fine. Have fun with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really so, easy to build. Yes. So, so we do another trick. Like yes, a, please. A please, card please. trick. Um, Christian, um, yep. in a moment you can you ta can take uh, any card you want. Any card is any card is possible. Uh, you say the word stop. Yep, uh, here. Yeah, yeah this there. one. Okay. Oh, there's, oh, there's my a signature <laughs> one. <laughs> you can write I, it. I, I, must have, I must have taken this card earlier. You um, can go on the yes, maybe, maybe you can see <laughs> my, my name on here. <laughs> on <laughs> yes, well, two times a good force. Then we don't need to sign it anymore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We just wanted to cut a little bit short. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, you take out a blue car, uh, a blue deck from a red card case. Yeah, because well we have, prepared, well we prepared, have, we my have, friend. We have no, we have no blue card boxes No, we, here. Have, we don't have a budget. <laughs> we don't so have a budget. We go, we go on the top camera. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're so funny. Come on, with us is better. Exactly. Like that. So we bring you a, si a signed card in. Yeah? yeah. So in the middle, and now we will find it on a special way. Okay. So watch. Don't blink. <laughs> 
One, two, and three. Oh, yeah, wow. blinked. Ooh, blinked. And all the cards are changing, except for one. Ah, now it fits into the red card case. Yeah. That's why you yeah. did it. That's yeah. why you did yeah. it. The box changes too. <laughs> uh -huh. We could do that. So, awesome. Of course, it's your and card. Yeah. Very, very uh, easy. You can also shuffle the deck, and there is nothing to find. There's certainly one gimmick involved. And yeah, that's 52 only. gimmicks involved. <laughs> yeah, it changes completely from blue to red. No. Uh, you certainly don't have to show a full uh, blue deck. Uh, one or two backs is, is definitely uh, sufficient, especially if you would remove the deck uh, from a blue card case, yeah. certainly. That's only uh, a short idea. We create this routine two it, hours ago, and it's not. It, a, it, it's not that you create It's so. It's, yeah. We speak a classic, a, a classic I would a classic, say. It's what, classic, what Great was yeah. the wrong word. Sorry, but it's uh, it's easy. You need only use this flap card. Yeah. Go on the mm, top camera. Yeah. This is the. Yeah. The flap. And yeah, then. You stay on the flap card. Uh, so I was just asked a question that I already see here. Yeah. Let me, let me get something from the warehouse. Looks looks really really visual. Oh. Put it on a table like yeah like throw it on the table so here is a card and if we just oh out of camera out of camera let's do it again there's our card yeah. so yeah. there it is just a just a visual transformation of a card maybe one of the most visual transformations on the card um, in the future we will have different options uh, in our website where you can buy these cards Already prepared, yeah. handmade, handmade, tested, handmade, and um, yeah, different options. So maybe when you have a special idea, you want to have the change of this, of this, of this. So you can write us a message, and Michael will uh, yeah create of course. Yeah. create your own your own card. There is uh, there is one guy on the market. He brings out a very cool explanation video. The name is uh, uh, Hondo. Hondo, you Hondo. have some hairs here. Oh. Hondo, um, and you get this DVD about flat cards um, in Illusionist, I think. Yeah, Illusionist. So, so, but, so, I'm a worker and I worked a long time also with flat cards and I was so sad about preparing, that's why we want to have this service for you, to you can already order everything and you don't have to, yeah. You can perform it right out of the box. Yeah, so exactly. Like you do not need to build uh, a gimmick and it's already done for you. What do you have, Christian? Uh, well, I wow. saw another question in the Slido. Um, uh, what is the best? No, that's uh, how do you manage to store your gimmicks so that you can prepare fast your show? So there's one thing that I couldn't find right away. Uh, these are the leather wallets that we have with every science friction pack. Yeah, these are so cool. Because they have several, um, it's, like a, it's like a book yeah. where you have several compartments uh, where you can store gimmicks. Perfect. This is a uh, this is a smaller version, uh, just with the plastic um, wallet. I use this. Um, I use so, this. so this one here is is in poker size. This one is in parlor size, a little bit bigger, so that even parlor gimmicks would fit inside. And here you have a transparent side on one end and uh, a plus, uh, uh, just a black pocket on the other side. There you can store your gimmicks. Um, you can find them in our online store. I think in accessories. I hope. If not, uh, just uh, contact us. They they don't cost really a lot. I, I custom made them just for us here in different variations. We have them like this. We have uh, switch wallets and so yeah, on and yeah, so on. Yeah. Uh, several types of, of wallets. Um, and they look very organic. So yeah. no no fancy special edition things. They look like... Yeah, well, this is where you usually would store your packet trick. Yeah. However, yeah. Uh, I would recommend if it's just one or two gimmicks uh, that you yeah. that you that you have, then when I then I would not uh, have it. I have one there. of them in my car because they are not my driver license. My license of my car is inside of of a. Of a They're not using it for magic. That's okay. Now, what I want to say is, uh, you you can sl certainly slide. Well, I love to leave the cellophane on, uh, yeah. on a card case. Certainly, uh, it's the perfect storage space to put the cards inside here. Um, so you are having at least one gimmick uh, always available that you can pull out. Um, 
Have you seen the special uh, box that Patrick Lehnen once did that he wanted to publish? I have one of uh, them at home. It's pretty cool, huh? With the yeah, with the extra, it's yeah, with the yeah. extra flap yeah, where you can. I can add bring more. next next uh, next Monday. I can bring with uh, with with the warehouse and we can show it. Uh, we should not. Sh well, I don't, well we have to speak with uh, Patrick so, first Patrick, because yeah. it's a very uh, interesting, intriguing um, uh, device that you can carry several items. Thirteen. 13 gimmicks? 13, in? yeah. Also, you can... What do you mean? With 13 extra cards? In the 13 room? extra cards. And the idea of Patrick was you can very easily bring out the deck. The spectator can shuffle the whole deck and you can bring you, a you stack load. of... A sta you load a, yeah. stack, a stack of cards uh, in front of the spectator in the shuffle deck. So Yeah, the idea is everything is contained in this box. Uh, the idea is that the box especially prepared and treated that it has a double uh, wall so that it is divided um, between the deck itself and the cards on the outside but they stay close when as long as you want to correct correct yes um, but it was kind of special well he made it out of two different boxes and I wanted to come up with a certain uh, design that we can punch it out directly and have it that looks built cool. It looks a little bit like uh, Mario Lopez, but without being Mario Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That that fits uh, now. That fits the uh, the YouTube uh, <laughs> entry screen. Okay. Yeah. 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 So so far so good. We have answered this question as well. Cool. Yes. What well, else? Let's speak about the uh, the gimmicks. The different the different things. Yeah. Uh, different. Uh, this one. Types of uh, types of yeah. This one is a... So for, yeah, first of all, we have two different types of um, building flap cards. Flap cards are Actually, something three. where... Three. Uh, what we have here three. Yeah, there's no, damn more. No, 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 no. I'm talking about dental dam and, ah, the, and the thread. Yeah, yeah, and, sorry. and also there would be gravity flaps where no strings attached. <laughs> so yeah. no, you can really say no strings, no... No real No <laughs> magnets whatsoever. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So... Uh, how do you make it um, transform uh, tr um, yeah, very, very quickly and visibly? You need to have some tension and that's what you do with a rubber. Um, the, that you can transfer, uh, transform a card very quickly. And you can either do it with, uh, with a um, dental dam. That's uh, the cover that you have uh, when you go to a dentist or uh, it's it's also used in the in the gloves uh, when you when you have protection PPP what, what is personal protective oder wie das heißt whatever yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> the German um, and you cut it out and you are putting tension on there and you glue this to the cards however you have to make sure that uh, these these uh, dental dam parts would not be visible so it's usually somewhere inside the flap. Uh, we are using this for, let's say, where, where a hole has to open up and then closes again afterwards. That's where you apply it in between. That's great. Um, however, these gimmicks here, because you want to uh, show them in both situations, in this state and in this state. So uh, it, at a certain point, you will have the, uh, the, the threads that, is, that are used. It's, a, it's an elastic thread. Uh, it will be visible in full sight, but you cannot really see it. So because it's so thin and so invisible that uh, it just um, yeah, it it hides very well inside inside the back design or uh, on, on the face of a court card, on the lines, the blue lines, etc. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the... Uh, different kinds of flaps. Yeah, <coughs> yeah so yes. let's just switch to the top camera. We have uh, three main uh, kind of flaps. So... Um, the first flap you already saw, it was these type of flaps. And these are, in my view, these are really nice to, uh, if you want to perform these in real life, in front of uh, people, because the angles are really, really good if you want to perform this flap. Um, then we have uh, the second type, and this works like this. So. It flaps a little bit faster, but looks pretty much the same if you look at it. Um, yeah, and the and the last part is uh, probably the hardest to build because you're just uh, the flap is just the 
yeah. middle of the card and the bo the borders uh, the white borders are staying there the whole time so the handling is more free and you can just hold the card uh, while releasing it and these are the main three uh, types how to build a flap and we have so many options what you can change from picture yeah. cards to whatever you want well the the the, the um, um, basic building is that you uh, are creasing the cards in a way that um, that you are um, scoring a part of the of the paper but you're not cutting completely through so that the cards still have a hinge to flip back and forth yep. and uh, so that's that's the main that's the main part you are cutting from uh, the other side and you have to use certain gimmicks in this particular case to make this work this card here needs to be uh, like this one here needs to be a double <laughs> Everybody's playing with these gimmicks right now. So this one here needs to have a, a double backer, red and blue, so that you can really let it go and uh, that it fits. Which you can buy at our store. Yes, certainly it's included there as well. Sometimes the cards are, well, this particular, well, on, on, on a video camera, it looks great. Uh, in close-up, you might see the elastic thread. Yeah, not... Uh, yeah. There oh, there it is. Yeah, that's there. You see the thread, so it's a little bit tricky. But we're working on a version where you can uh, show the back of the card too. Um, yeah, depending on uh, how you want to build. So yeah, the um, there are different ways of of doing these cards. There's an easy, easy and very fast way by just using full cards, creasing them and applying uh, the elastic thread to it and glue the cards together. It still <laughs> works certainly. And if you really want to go hardcore uh, with no seam uh, uh, faces, etc., then you have to split cards and so on and so on. That's uh, the next level of, of flap cards, I would say. Yep. And they will get way more expensive uh, cool. because the, wor the, the work is much more in the end. A few weeks ago, um, is, are there any questions uh, regarding the no. elastic threads or whatsoever? No. Oh boy, I... I uh, Ein Beilauffaden in in German language. What would it be in English? I think it's the uh, in English this uh, type of uh, thread because I have one of uh, of I think I buy it in Illusionist or something like that a long time ago. Yeah. Um, the name was Magic Thread, Magic Elastic Thread. It's it's, elastic it's thread. yeah it, no magic. There was the word magic, oh. and it's not the not the idea of Illusionist because this company. Is magic ma magic thread? I okay. I never saw it in any place again. Um, in Amazon, it was a long time, long time, long time ago. I okay, no so it's 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 coming from uh, sewing machines. Uh, this this thread, and it's uh, when 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 you uh, when you are aware how normal sewing goes with the machines. It's not that it's one uh, thread that goes all the way through. It's a thread that st stitches through, is then caught by another thread and is pulled downwards and then goes in there again so that it's then starting to build a seam so that you have two threads at the same time working together. And when the bottom thread that is called the side thread is elastic, then you are making a seam that is, uh, um, uh, is, is um, working uh, in an elastic way. <coughs> So, like, uh, I, I would say a t-shirt would have this as well, so that it uh, appears to be elastic. Johannes is writing utility thread, invisible elastic thread. That's nice. So, we are getting, the, we are getting there. That's what you should look for. And there are certain, certainly different qualities of these. Um, you might have to play around with one. Either you find one on eBay or on Amazon and it works for you well. If they are uh, snapping too fast, too early, then I would search for another brand and try it again. Yeah. Or I would just buy the cards and order them from us. Yeah, that, that's, that's that was the idea. So that's the easiest. On the other, on the other hand, certainly it is also fun to to play around with this uh, by yourself and, and coming up with ideas. And I think Michael has a lot of experience and uh, yes. yeah. a lot of mindfuck with the different <laughs> kind of threads and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the other point. You will have some uh, drawbacks and 
some yeah. yeah some some cards that snap right in front of the eyes of a, of a spectator. Let's uh, do another. Until you get let's, it. Let's do. Let's yeah. show. Let's show something what we not explained. I think the the thing with the balance. Oh, is, maybe so. we should. Uh, yeah. Okay. First, we, uh, the first other other variations one. of the flat card. Oh yeah. Oh and, yeah. And then later the. So, yeah, yeah, I know. Yes, 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 yes. Good, so, good. Okay, so that that only works in Germany or in Europe because it's uh, only working with euros. <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, you have written two yeah, euros. Yeah, we, there, we right? need a coin. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe if now he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to uh, let the coin appear, we can just snap, and there we have a oh, wait, real coin. It, no, but it's and now wrong. It's, uh, now now uh, I see it why it's <laughs> false. You are writing two euros and I only have one euro here. Ah. Uh, this is certainly <laughs> wrong. Is yeah, yeah we, but uh, we the coin talk. is uh, vanished uh, from the card, and now we have we have it here in uh, real life. Yeah. yeah. What, what was the other side of the card? So uh, just uh, just a also picture card. Yeah. Okay, that's card. fine. So okay, um, cool. Yeah, and the last uh, variation of a flap card, uh, which I have here, is uh, the seal matrix. So um, <laughs> as you already know, uh, every deck of cards has these seals, which you can see there, and um, my seals were torn into four pieces. But now I'm. But going evenly distributed into the corner. What, <laughs> yeah. What makes total sense. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> now we're uh, going to try a little matrix. But it looks cool. Yeah, and it looks something like this. And there is our seal completely restored it's in the corner of the There are ideas of ideas only for uh, showing the visual effect. Yeah, what is possible exactly. So yeah. um, that's it. If you want to uh, do certain effects like, um, yeah, well, come up with ideas, contact us, we will help you. You will soon find these, um, you will soon find these uh, uh, flap cards in our online store in a variation. We, have, we still have to discuss it, how to build them in a way that you can modify um, them up to your needs. That you can say, yeah. okay, I want to get a large index face or... Uh, regular index face to fit into my decks. I want to have uh, a red card um, to, uh, switching over to a blue card so that it's, it's under pressure, uh, uh, under tension in red state and then releases to blue or the other way around, etc. etc. This you can uh, specify then there so that we can build these uh, to your request um, on demand. That's, that's the way how we want to do this. Other than that, uh, you certainly are um, able to make these cards yourself. It's a lot of practice, but it's also fun. And uh, some of you guys have enough time there right now. There is a question. Uh, yeah, yeah. It is possible for you to make a card like Hondo did that can flap two times. Um, I tried it. I already tried it. And I know it's really, really hard. And uh, my version of it, I can show it in real life. Or... Maybe I can show it, but with really, really a uh, lot of distance. <laughs> and yeah, you but I, I performed it on Instagram and it looked quite okay. I never saw Hondo's version in live. I saw it only on yeah. the video. So, Same. and Same. I saw the explanation. And when I saw the explanation, I was, I was, I was like, okay, I don't need it. Yeah. <laughs> so well, it's I, really I, hard to make. But yeah. you, can, really you, can, you can prepare it. It is possible to build this card, but it's really, really hard and you need to think about if you want to invest this time in just one gimmick. Is, is so it worth it? And, and, and you might... Okay, now, right now, 2020 is the time of uh, video magic, everything in front of a camera, like what we are doing here. So we are not there, but once you want to go out again and uh, perform it for people, you have to be aware of uh, angles, threads, uh, more visibility, etc., etc. Uh, while these gimmicks work awesomely on the camera, um, they might fail when doing it close up to friends, family, and spectators. So be aware that uh, not all the gimmicks will work fine. But the answer is yes, he can. It is possible. It is possible, and yeah. yeah. Any other question in the chat? No. no. That's good. That's so, good. So we can move on and maybe do the... Uh, your lovely effect. Well, uh, you performed it a few weeks ago and we were asked if we uh, could do the explanations to this and we wanted to keep it until today when Michael is here, or Michael, so that, we can, yeah, so that, we, can, uh, that we can finally show it. 
and it was a rising card effect, right? Yeah, it was a rising card effect, and yeah. With, without any preparation or uh, body load whatsoever. With, with, with. Uh, yes, <laughs> this one. <laughs> yes. You have? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got the idea. Uh, but, it's, but it's still a loop. Okay, um, take a card. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, another one. <laughs> another Queen of Diamonds. Is this another yes. Queen of Diamonds. Uh, yes. Maybe we can do the top camera? Sure. Uh, with 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 us as well, yeah. yeah Why not? I can go there. It yeah. goes in the middle. Goes in, and then I take this one. The box. Card goes in the box. You hold your hand like like that. So perfect. And we go on the close camera, and then you hold it in the front. So like that, yeah. And then you concentrate on your card and relax your body. And then here we come. There is something. Wait, my loop is coming. Uh -huh. yeah. I think it was pulled from above, from yeah. somewhere else. The cool else. thing is, uh, you can certainly show all the cards. There's no loop uh, involved no. anymore. Yeah. That certainly works. Um, back then, a few weeks ago, when we just showed the trick, it fooled a lot of people. Yeah. And we did not explain how it worked. Certainly now you can get an idea or have an idea why it worked. Uh, there was a loop built into the card, actually not one, but two, yeah. uh, on both sides, um, for two reasons. You are free to ch uh, choose which side you want and, to form and, it. And folks, look, this is so awesome. This is the gimmick. There is you can even show it really close up and... Well, your unfortunately, the camera does not focus. Yeah, but know. on live, you... No, you don't see it. It's uh, Well, it will be a picture card, so that... Uh, that we can hide the thread much better. It's certainly what all uh, the flap builders do. Yeah. And uh, the back design does the rest, so that um, the the loop that is built into uh, this this card on both sides is uh, well, well, well hidden in the design. Yeah. And, yeah. and with this card, you are able to perform different kinds of uh, effects. One yes. was uh, the rising card that you saw. Uh, maybe you, we want to show what is going on there with the rising card so that you get an idea or how to load the card. I would I would do it. Yeah, so that, that you get the idea. We should even do the, the thread in a way that it's uh, black wants to, to show it. Nah, not yet. No. no, no. So the idea is it's one time on this side and one time on the other side. And when you are starting to go into the gimmick here and now you're putting pressure into this gimmick and the card is now loaded and will spring out yeah. whenever I want to release it and that way uh, Michael it's your turn yeah. yes um, so there are several effects you can perform with this gimmick so for example uh, Philo you can pick any card and Let's pick my show it <laughs> <laughs> show it to our audience uh, I can see it too it's the <laughs> A Ace of Cups, yes. okay. So our card is uh, going to go in the middle. And now you can um, hold your index finger like this. Okay. And now you can just. Wait, wait. I go and, like and that. Just uh, yeah. let go a little bit, and the deck is going to cut by itself. And uh, you, you can. See well, it looks as if you would push it over to the <laughs> side. But yeah, and well. you see, but we just. The deck. Uh, Cut it to one card. Yeah. And even and kick out the one. Yeah. And it's so the cool. The ace of clubs. And the other one yeah. is very cool as well. That's the. Uh, How do you the, make the this spring. gimmick? Well. <laughs> yes. Uh, like everything with Card Shark, very, very well. So here's another cool thing so uh, that you can see. I will try to step out of like the this. picture. So you can. Ah. Uh, it looks okay. good enough. It looks good enough. Because from the top camera, definitely good. But now, as we. I already know. You the second to, time, you want to catch better. It. Ah. I want to catch it with my hand, so it looks so really. Should they look at the top card? Ah, there it is. Very, very. <laughs> the cool. second time, and there's our nice. ace of clubs. Yeah, super, super, super. Yeah. Uh, how do we do them uh, with the elastic thread? Um, it's like uh, a piece of of, of cloth, and loop. where where you where you do the first loop, then tie a knot. You have to tie certain uh, certainly several knots to make it. Uh, um, that they will not un, un, not untie, 
and you cut the ends off and best would be to do a second loop as well so in case one is snapping you have a second one yeah that's a typical way how to do this and uh, you can do it on either side or on both sides i would recommend having both best option very simple to do I have a lot of fun with this gimmick. Um, it's a lot of fun. The yes. German guy showed me this a long time ago, and hey, it works. Well, well think of a card, any card is uh -huh. possible. Yeah, yeah any. Mm -hmm. Two yeah. cards, say, say one card. One card, one card only. Yeah. I don't know. Is it a marked one? No, it's a large index, right? Yeah. Shit, then give it's me, not marked. Give me any card. Give me any. Six of hearts. No. Ah, so and? close. Uh, five of diamonds. Oh. <sighs> You was not not close. <laughs> well, I was close at this table, but not with the card showing. Yeah. So uh, there's oh yeah yeah now it comes my favorite. We we don't explain it, but it's my favorite and uh, it's shortly on the uh, on the website. Oh well, so. okay, soon available. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now you can, or should we first of all just no let's, let's oh. Well, a loop Sorry? is also something we... Ah, okay. Uh, okay. So, we have... Uh, That's when guests press the buttons here. <laughs> uh, this deck of cards. And now I'm gonna try to find the perfect balance where I can just remove my hand and we see the deck is balancing on my finger. Yeah. Uh, from the front, it looks like normal that you were just finding the middle point now, but not if you do it like this. You can see but even my the, finger under the, top, the deck. But from the top, if you go back to this position, it looks uh -huh. as if you would just balance it to the right in the center of the yeah. of the gravity point. So but it's cool. definitely not the gravity point. There are a lot of things on the market with balancing. And I think also a um, um, balance iPhone or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, sure. And you can the eye balance. Cool. Yes, uh, yeah. As you can see, you have a really free handling, even if uh, the gimmick is here. So. Uh, what do you the, want? Uh, what do you the need? The main, the main uh, yeah, what there it is. So now I'm um, going gonna try to. Yeah, you're not very balance. good at fanning, <laughs> oh, but uh, we will <laughs> balance the whole uh, the fan. Maybe it's a little too fingers. obvious. And it's so cool. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Check the cool. And a fan is balancing on my finger. Yeah. That's very cool. There's a certain way how to balance a huge pile of, of uh, with, with overlaps and all this. Uh, I try to remember who did this, or if it was Flip or so, showing this years ago. Uh, it was a very cool effect. And it was using not the same method, but uh, also kind of a uh, certain gimmick to make it really big. And Guys, also, uh, yes. there is a, there is a, a very funny way of uh, showing uh, of giving the deck out. The cleanup <laughs> is the best. It's, uh, it's so from, cool. From the view of the magician, it's uh, really funny. Yeah, but skill yeah. level zero. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. ah. you, even yeah, better, my, my even better if you have a pull. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's it's really really easy to perform. Yeah, and Very works nice. also right out of the box. Yeah, you can imagine. It might not be that easy to sell, especially not yeah. into the American market. Maybe. You know why? Maybe uh, the sizes of the fingers. I know. If if you if you think of Roger, he has these paws, like the big paws, like bare bare oh. bare hands. But I but I haven't. Uh, I tried it also, and I found out that I can. This gimmick was built perfectly for my finger, mm -hmm. but I can also make it really really big, mm -hmm. because if it's too big. Uh, then you can uh, decide either if you want to uh, balance it like this or like this. You have then you have two options. So for you to see um, if the deck is going to balance like uh, this on your finger or like this. And but I uh, don't build it now. That's, that's fine. But I but I know how uh, it works. So uh, I think uh, the size of the finger is uh, not not the big problem. Sure. Let us know if this would be more interesting. Let, 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 let us know in the chat or in the comments below yeah. if you would like to see this as a, as a ready prepared gimmick or if you want to see this as a video, video instruction, instruction yeah. where yeah. you can build them to your specifications and to your needs. That's also it's nice. not that difficult yeah, if, you, if you know the right material and, and the right the preparation. It's the, it's the best way to, to, do to, do a, a yeah, to, to, yeah, to make a download. Um, yeah. 
for um, one hundred sixty nine dollars. Yeah, and uh, one hundred no, an eighty percent discount. So that whatever. <laughs> Uh, never mind. Yes, yes, yes. Makes all sense. We have a lot of Is fun. there any more we should talk about? No, only English, please. Hello zusammen. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> yes, yes. That was the part with the do it yourself. Um, I guess that do it yourself will be the way to do it, and it's a lot of fun as well. Starting making your own gimmicks, um, and we all have sometimes. Oh, this is another one you want this to show. This is also another variation. Uh, I uh, I just wanted to um, show this idea because well, what I are, wanted to. What are to they called in, in the, uh, fl the the flip? I don't know. So it just looks like this. Yeah. And they stick together to one card, which is of course yours. <laughs> I think there is also black folk do a lot of stuff like that. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. So it's nothing new, but uh, yeah, also looks uh, really cool. Maybe if you don't let, I don't want to misdirect you because ah. There it happened. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> so um, there are not um, these are the very cool things on the market of Black Folk. So go to this website and yeah. check it out. Yeah. He's, uh, in German, we, we call it Kartei Kärtchen. I don't know what is English. Yeah, uh, I, I index tried cards, to, yeah, index cards. Yeah. Index like cards, yeah. Yes. Uh, so greetings to Blake. Uh, very nice work. Um, yeah. And but I there's only ideas what you can do with flaps. And I think this is awesome to uh, for for any idea if you want to do something with video magic or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then it's really cool. And Black has a lot of uh, cool ideas to do with the with the index card, some changes. Anything else that you want to show with this deck of cards? No. Then put it away, please. <laughs> Yeah, but I want to shut really. Yeah, I know. But afterwards, when, oh. when we finish the stream, guys, I think we are yeah. we are through. Uh, so far, no more questions at this time. Leave comments below. Uh, don't forget to let me Subscribe. push it again. Yeah. Exactly. Push da, the button. Da, da, da. Or not there. It is. Yes. Uh, click. Uh, ring the bell. And so that you will be notified next week. We will come up with another interesting topic next week as well. Um, check out the other videos that we already published, how to make your own stripper decks, um, other input, uh, favorite tricks of Mark, with Mark decks, um, all the other content that we already left here in our YouTube channel and we hope to see you in a week again. And thank until you for then, spending time. Yes, and, and thank you for joining us so long. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy and we'll see us in a week. Until then, all the best. Bye-bye. <laughs>